Welcome to video 2 in series 3 and now that you're interested in developing a game you need to get a game engine. So I'm using the Unity game engine so head over to the website to download a copy of it. So at Unity there's a download page and uh, well, obviously you just download the applicable version and that's the personal edition which is the free edition. It has all the same features as the professional edition so I use the pro edition except the well whatever's is green and red and you don't need any of these in as a, uh, a learner or uh, even while you're developing on your own you don't actually need it except for the customizable splash screen once you get to, once you're releasing a professional product obviously you'll want to remove the unity splash screen and put in your own uh, but apart from that, so just get the personal edition. I would strongly recommend as well that you create an account because we are going to download some uh, models and stuff from the asset store, just free one. So I will be downloading from there. Uh, and I have an account, so that's why I can do that. So you will need one too. And also with, the, with an account, you can also use the forums as well or post on Unity Answers pages as well. Uh, and by the way, I'm using Unity 5.2. Two, uh, just so that you know, in case maybe for some reason you're watching this and you're using Unity 10 at uh, that time. Well, there are always older versions of Unity available. Uh, so Unity has them available for download even earlier than 3x. If you look at the download link, you can just change the numbers and you can get even the uh, earliest versions of Unity. But they're all here uh, on their website, all the uh, older versions of Unity. I'm actually using 5.2.0, uh, but I'm expecting that any Unity 5 version after this will be just fine. I'm not using any features that are uh, like under development right at this time, so I'm pretty much sure that any Unity 5 version will be just fine with uh, what you're going to learn in this series. Alright, so once you've downloaded it and installed it, uh, make sure to install the uh, standard assets package as well. You'll see that appear. Install that. Install Visual Studio as well. If you want to use Visual Studio, Visual Studio is the default uh, program that you write code in. Uh, in Unity 5.2, it used to be Mono Develop, a much more lightweight uh, package. It's probably still included. So if you don't want to use Visual Studio, you can use that instead. Uh, in this series, though, I'll be using uh, Visual Studio for writing C Sharp code. Anyway, that's uh, that. Uh, I guess move on to the next video where we'll actually uh, make a start. So I'll show you how the Unity layout is and uh, build a basic scene. Alright, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.